Hey, bub, welcome to another episode of Seek at Night, where we are going to open one of these donated blaster boxes from a friend who wants to be anonymous. So, dude, thank you so much. You know who you are. I really appreciate this. We got an episode that we already put up, so go watch that episode too. And we have one coming out after this. So we got three donated from him, and then I bought three myself. So those will be coming up in future episodes. And we're just going to do one box per episode because I want to kind of do some glamour shots of these cards so you can see not just what I'm unwrapping here, but a little bit of more appreciation of them in the end. So you're going to see me open this box, and then later on in the episode when we're talking about them, I'm going to have some nice cutaways and close-ups of them so you can check out. And hopefully throughout the episode, I'll do that as well for certain cards. So let me know what you think of this style of video down below if you like this. Um, I know some people are going to be like, dude, why don't you just open all three of these in one episode? But eh, I just, like I said, I want to keep them short. I want to keep them around 10 minutes. And I want to thank my friend numerous times because I am very grateful. And then we also have, you know, three more of these coming out that I got. And we'll have, you know, three claws, I, like I said in the last episode, from each hand, Wolverine style. And we got three packs in each, you know, in each box. So this is going to be fun. I want to open these right now. I don't want to waste any more time. So you guys know what we're looking for if you watch the first video. There's a couple of... You know, gold cards that are in each box. One, maybe two. We got two in our last one, which is awesome. And then you can still get a shot at the jambalayas and some of the other cards that are in the hobby boxes. And then every pack usually comes with the green parallel as well. So without further ado, we got Marina, our first card. I don't think we have her yet. Oh, we definitely don't have Omega Red. I don't think so. That's awesome because so far we've only got open one hobby box of these. So having these blasters, these three, and then three more coming, hopefully we'll get very close to completing a base set, which is what I'm trying to do with these. Oh, look, we got, so this we got in the last box. I think we got the green parallel of it. Um, and this is really cool. It's Weapon Hex. Uh, so I talked a little bit about it in the last episode, so I won't retread that conversation here. But, wow, what was that behind there? Okay, something bluish looking. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, this is a cool card. I'm really, really happy to have it. We're going to sweat it a little bit. I don't know which character it is. So, speaking of blue, we'll go right to Iceman. What's up, dude? One of the original X-Men here. Very cool. Level, like, Omega level mutant, I believe. Um, this guy, when reaching his full potential, is awesome. And I love that he took down Bastion in the um, comic book series. It was called Operation Zero Tolerance. And they recently covered some of that story on X-Men 97, but in the cartoon or in the comic book version, and in the cartoon they did it, but in the comic book version, Iceman was the one who took down Bastion. And then the X-Men were spread out around the U.S. doing other things and fighting battles too, but Iceman fought him one-on-one, -on -one and it was really sick. Uh, really cool fight, so it always made me love Iceman. Um, and then our other, our green parallel of Aurora. All right, sweet. That looks good with the background. It's not a color match to her costume, but it's a, it's a nice match to the background. All right, let's see what this thing is, because I'm getting nervous now. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's a puzzle piece of two hands with claws coming out of them. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, that's cool. So this uh, puzzle piece, I know my friend who donated these to me, he really wants me to finish this puzzle piece. So he's probably happy right now. But I really don't want to finish this puzzle piece. I want to finish the Midnight Suns puzzle, which I only have three out of the nine on that one. So I might look for the other ones on eBay, or maybe I can trade. If someone's trying to complete the Wolverine one and you got some Midnight Suns extras, let me know, because maybe we can trade. I have two pieces of this so far. So if you need some claws or, or Hulk's butt, <laughs> let me know. Um, but yeah, I mean, the image is cool. It's Greg Hildebrand. He's a classic, you know, amazing artist. But I just, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not into the, the overall image. I'd rather, if a puzzle piece goes together, I'd rather it be a bunch of different characters and not one big piece like that. So that's uh, just personal preference. Um, all right, but uh, criticisms aside, because honestly, the art is still amazing. Uh, Shaman, we got for the first card. Great artwork on this card. Very cool looking. Um, and we got, oh, X-23. Dude, we got her in the base. Corner's a little dinged, but that's okay. We'll put her in a safe binder and she'll be all right. No more further damage to this card. That's a great shot of her, though. Just freaking out. Uh, that's awesome. Alias, we got Patch. Cool. I don't know. I don't know if I want to collect this whole Alias set. The in, Most of the inserts I'm kind of not, you know... The battle ones are pretty cool because it's cool to see Wolverine fight people. But uh, but aliases, I don't know if I'll get... Oh, we'll see how many I have after we finish all these blasters in like a week or so. Whoa! We got our Ultra Star of William Strike. I was wondering, I was like, there's a third, uh, like a thin card in here. Um, yeah, look, that's just like a regular card pretty much. William Stryker. So this is when he like went all Sentinel Robot out and stuff um, and kind of started to become the thing he hated. 
Uh, I think there was a battle with Sage. Uh, Sage, yeah, they say that on the back here. Uh, Sage researched the X-Men's enemy, a man who came close to exterminating mutant kind to Logan. Stryker was old news. But William Stryker, you know, in the movies, it kind of made it to where he was more tied to Wolverine's past in the movies. Um, but in the comics, he was like this, you know, religious guy who like uh, was an extremist big time. And he wanted to get rid of mutants, thought they were unnatural. It's this great book called God Loves, Man Kills. I highly recommend you read it if you've never have, X-Men fans. But uh, it's a he's an interesting character, to say the least. Definitely one of those villains you love to hate, for sure. Um, but uh, but interesting guy nonetheless. And they had Brian Cox play him in the movies, um, and uh, Danny Houston and other people play him in Origins and all the other ones, the you know the prequel ones and stuff. But um, but yeah, they kind of tied him in the movies to Wolverine's past. But in the comics, he never really had much of a connection to Wolverine's past. Uh, oh, look at uh, another green parallel of X twenty three. That's a cool one too. Old woman Laura. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I've ever read that book. There's definitely some blind spots I have with more modern. X-Men comics, but uh, yeah, it's cool. Old Woman Laura, that's awesome. And hey, look at that gorgeous Electra shot. That's freaking sick. I'm glad she's in this set. There's been great Wolverine Electra team-ups, even in that one, Savage Wolverine comic, but but there's been some other ones like in the 80s and stuff and, and 90s like where these two meet. Um, really cool. It's always cool to see Wolverine team up with people when he's Mr. Attitude and he teams up with someone who's also just as stoic and you know less cheerful <laughs> or you know absent of cheer um like characters like electric can be sometimes um all right whoa dude first off gambit right off the top of the pack that's freaking awesome who drew this one Gil jo uh, gilberto martimiano and i'm probably butchering that and i'm so sorry gilberto because your art's freaking fantastic this is a gorgeous card very fitting for Remy LeBeau. Very, very nice. Dude, we got Deadpool. Deadpool in the white costume. That's awesome. For Uncanny X-Force. Tom Morgan. Oh, great artist. That's so sick looking. Oh, I love that so much. That's cool that we got a Deadpool card. I'm very happy. I'll try to get these episodes up quickly so we can have this one go up on the day the movie comes out, hopefully. So, yeah, very, very nice on that card. All right, our... Fourth card in the pack, third card. Ooh, team affiliations. This is the Savage Avengers. That is sick. I've always wanted to write a Savage Avengers comic set in the Savage Land. I was like, why isn't that the Savage Avengers? I would have like, you know, uh, Zabu, you know, and uh, Kazar, and you know, I'd have all of those Savage Land characters in the team. Uh, maybe they'd even be the leaders of the team, or the, or maybe I'd make them like the the muscle of the team or something. But I would also probably put like Kane, the Spider-Man character, in there. Probably a slinger or two. I don't know. I love the slingers. Um, I would definitely have fun writing some Savage Avengers books uh, set on the Savage Land. Uh, that would be awesome. Or some young Avengers, you know, maybe, gr you know, graduated to Avenger status. Um, yeah, that would be a fun book to, to write for sure. All right. Um, let's see here. We got, I don't know what that is. Ooh, it's another gold card. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it for the last because it's a good one, I think. Oh, what the heck, dude? A Wolverine, Old Man Logan, medallion. This is so awesome. I like this version of Logan. I really do. Um, I really resonated. He resonated with me a lot. Like, I, or I resonated with him. Like, I really connected with that book. Even though it's kind of standard Mark Millar stuff. Like, it's really fun. And if you've read Old Man Hawkeye, even better, better even. It's so good. I love Old Man Hawkeye. That book is really awesome. But then there was a solo Old Man Logan book that came out. I think Ed Breeson wrote it, and it ran for like 50 issues. And it was about Old Man Logan being brought to the current day X-Men team after knowing that the X-Men are dead in his future and the Hulks took over and all the you know Red Skull took over. And he's in the present fighting alongside with the X-Men while their Wolverine is dead at that time. He's dead in that timeline. So Old Man Logan shows up, and it's so good. I really love that Ed Breeson run. I really did. It's so awesome. Um, and he's going around. He tries to kill Mysterio before Mysterio could, you know, infect his mind like he did in Old Man Logan. Like, he has, like, a checklist of people to kill before they can destroy this Wolverine when he comes back from the dead. Because, obviously, he knows he's going to come back. So, uh, so yeah, really good. I love that book by Ed Breeson. So, to get that, I wasn't expecting that hit when I moved that gold card away. Um, so, we're going to bag this up. And I'm going to tuck that over here. And we got Hercules in the green 
Very awesome. Very cool. I love that. Great image. Yes. And we talked about Hercules when we did the, um, you know, the hobby box. So, all right. Without further ado, boom! Wolverine versus Magneto. If you watched X-Men 97 last season, you know this card is even cooler. But if you've read the comic book right here, which is uh, Fatal Attractions, this comic book is epic. It's where the X-Men are like, you know what, Magneto, we're tired of your crap. We're coming up to Asteroid M and we're going to just take you down. Like you, or we think. Like we're, we don't really know what we're going to do, but probably Wolverine's going to try to kill you if we bring him in pro, pro, you know, close proximity of you. And, uh, and they fight and Wolverine gets his adamantium yanked right out of him. Oh my God, such an iconic moment for the character. And even though it was kind of silly, some of the stories they told with him afterwards, we had the bone claws, which that's how they revealed he had the bone claws. But also, like, he became, like, a giant beast-looking guy for a while. Um, artists had fun definitely reinterpreting Wolverine for a while. Um, but, you know, it wasn't all for me. I didn't love a lot of that stuff. But this moment, big, big moment in the comics, for sure. Um, and definitely spelled dread for the X-Men. You were really scared what was going to happen after this, which after this was Age of Apocalypse and then Onslaught after that. So it wasn't good for the X-Men for a while after this, that's for sure. Uh, so again, thank you to my friend who donated these. This is box number two, blaster box number two, and we got some awesome bangers in here. I love this card right here. We're going to sleeve this up. Uh, the Old Man Logan you know, medallion, that's so sick that we got that. I really love that solo comic book of him, as even as much as I love the Old Man Logan comic book itself uh, that happened in Wolverine issues like 68 through 74 and then a giant size or something like that. I can't remember, um, but it was somewhere in those numbers. And uh, so, yeah, cool that we got that. I'm glad I got to tell you a little bit about William Stryker. For those who don't know, God Loves Man Kills. Pick that up. That is a must read for X-Men fans for sure. And then obviously we got the three by three, which my friend's going to freak out. He's going to be like, hi, I picked some lucky boxes for you. But um, yeah, if anyone's willing to trade, I don't know, unless my friend really wants me to complete them. I mean, I'll keep them because it is a gift. So, you know, you let me know, dude, down in the comments or, or, you know, on Instagram, whatever, you can write me a message. Let me know. Cards aren't just cards. They're art too. And they're a way into a community of cool people. So if you haven't started collecting and you want to, Check this set out, man. I'll put a link down below. Pick up a blaster box or two. Open them up. See how much fun you have. I think you'll surprise yourself. And for the rest of you, thank you so much. I will see you all in the next episode. Peace. Mm -hmm.